from Abraham. That once a person dies, he doesn't know every detail of the life of his children or grandchildren anymore. Because if Abraham would know from heaven the same exact thing about Esav, what's the point of taking him away? Let him live here. If he will get the same upset when he's in heaven, and he will be able to be aware of all the, the crimes that Esav commit, then what's the point of taking him earlier from the world? Leave him here, at least he will get some achievements here. So from here we see that the dead people don't see everything. If Hashem wants them to know certain things, He will inform them. But if not, they don't know. Sometimes they come in a dream and they send a message, like uh, this girl going to become pregnant or you're soon going to have a grandchild. It happens a lot. It's a common thing. The dead people come and inform about, usually it's about good news. Sometimes they come to say that they're hungry or they are naked. That's a very bad sign. Then you gotta right away do everything you can to help their soul. Kaddish, sponsor a lecture, lectures go to thousands of people. The Torah that people learn immediately help their soul. If, an, if a dead person come and say to you in a dream that he's naked and he's cold, then you know he's suffering very much. He's not in a good place. Why? He's naked from schuyot, from merits. Doesn't have merits. So he's naked from merits, from schuyot. Right the way you have to create for him schuyot. He had a gift from Hashem that he gave him permission to come to someone in a dream. Not everyone has that merit. It's very interesting. So 